So today is our last full day in Koh Samui and honestly, I'm a bit bummed. We've been here for about two weeks now in surely what has been the longest place that we've stayed in, in any given city, any given island. It's the first time that we've really experienced slow travel and we hear you guys, we know, we are now convinced this is the way to be. But I think one of the most special and unique parts about traveling to Koh Samui right now and to Thailand specifically is that we've been able to witness just the reopening of Thailand, the reopening of all of these businesses that have been hit so hard during the pandemic. What a special time to be a part of that. Because of course we have been taking it easy and not feeling like we have to do all the things on the island, and today is our last full day, we definitely want to get the most out of it. So we're hopping on our scooter and trying to see as much as we can. So first we gotta go to the ferry, I think. I'm not even sure if they're running yet. Uh, I was just reading some stuff online that the ferries between here and Koh Tao and Koh Phangan, that they're all shut down. So I don't, I don't know what really to believe and we're gonna go find out. You might get your wish that we stay here for longer. Wouldn't be the end of the world now, would it? Part of travel actually makes me really sad not not because it's impacting us but the fact that whole businesses that thrived off of transporting people to and from different islands probably for work or to see friends and see family and jobs even just it's all closed like this this is this makes me sad Brian number and their number doesn't exist anymore. It's a bad start. So it's only one kilometer, so we should be able to see it from here. I think it's uh, maybe that blue one down there. Just got some intel that apparently the the pier that we were checking out that's listed as Bangkok here on Google Maps is just for sea trends. But Lumpraya is the other ferry company that might have their own pier. This looks promising. We were also told that Lumpraya used to have their company location at Mainam Pier, but they since moved to this area. So let's find out. Close on the way to Koh Tao, 8 or 12.30. So when we first went into that place, the new, new pier, not the old new pier, Bong Rock, but the one just down the road that's also called Bong Rock, but it's the Lumpraya side of it. They were actually just about to close up shop, so I'm really glad that we got over there when we did. It looks like they're running two boats a day, and it looks like all of the ferry schedules have changed top to bottom. I think that this has been kind of the norm for us since we made it into Thailand. Like, I don't want to give the false impression at all that, like, everything's closed, because it can... Uh, this video might have sounded like that. It's very much the opposite. Lots of things are open at just time schedules, the bars, the restaurants, all the things that you're used to having open, they're just open less or open different times and it seems like the world hasn't quite caught up to figuring out when things are actually open and when things are going places. So a lot of stuff is just word of mouth, like this ferry we just booked. For those of you who like the kind of traveling that's adventurous and require less planning and you miss the days when there was no Google Maps, this might be just for you. <laughs> Like, uh, mm -hmm. one pork and did you want something? Yeah, I'll um, have one. Can see. Same thing. <laughs> Your scooter lessons begin now. The first challenge, open up the seat. I know how to open up the seat. Sometimes. You have passed the first challenge. So keep turning, keep turning back up. Alright, so you're gonna start throttle but keep your feet on the ground and then you'll feel it start to go forward. And then once it feels like it's got your weight on it, then you can get your feet off the ground. Okay, I'm gonna wait till this car passes. 
Okay, yeah, let's wait for this guy. You're good, fire away. There's so we're going car. straight down There's that road. That's okay, you're on the other side of the road. I know, but we're going straight, right? We are going down that road. Yeah, so I'll wait for him. Now we got another car behind us. So you're after this car, you're, you're good to go. Wait, one more car, oh, one more car. All right, now's your chance, yep, this is it. Go ahead, coming. you're good, you're good. This is, this is your only time. You have to go now. Why do I have to go now? Because <laughs> you have to start moving so that people will let you through. Okay, go. Cool. Very good, very good. Yes, you're doing great. Okay, so now we're going right. Nice and easy. Just a little bit. Move your weight. Yep, good, good, good. Nice. Okay. That's a lot harder yeah, than I <laughs> harder than it looks. <laughs> Yay! Another benefit of it being kind of this quiet time in Kosumi where there are not a lot of people means there's not a lot of drivers around. There's a lot of cars, so... Okay, go. No, no, no. So, it's a good opportunity for Josh to try to teach me how to ride a scooter and, uh, well, I learned how to ride one. Turns out we are getting on a ferry tomorrow morning. I'm a little bit bummed, gotta say goodbye, but I once read a travel blog about an author who said that she didn't really like to explore every part of a place that she was visiting and she wanted to leave some places undiscovered so that she always had a reason to come back. So that'll be us. It's always hard to leave a new home that you've made, but we hear Kotao is pretty awesome too. going to Kotao today. A little dice arena. Oh, it's a little fairy. Oh, this will be fun. It's already uh, an early morning wake up call. Quick taxi ride to the pier and uh, now we're on a moving ferry. Very shaky. An hour and a half to get to Kotao. And uh, this was 600 baht per person, so about $18. And we're off. Off we go. This is going to be a bumpy ride. Just a quick stop over at Kopenyang. Yep, halfway there. One more hour to Kotal. <laughs> After our stop in Kopenyang, they asked if anyone needed any garbage bags, and uh, now we know why. funny for like the first 20 minutes and then when you realize you still have 
another hour. About an hour to go. It becomes way less money. Christmas tree made it. <laughs> that was quite the adventure. And now the other adventure continues. We have to find a place to stay tonight. Definitely just booked our hotel on Agoda right now, and yeah, we'll see how it looks, because the last place that we just visited, even though there was availability online, definitely didn't look open. to Koh Tao and uh, that ferry ride made us question a lot of things about making it to Koh Tao and just questions about life. We scored a really awesome place here in Koh Tao called the Beach Club Koh Tao. We were able to book it within five to ten minutes of arriving and showed up and we have this awesome poolside room. Got Mr. Tree set up and now we're gonna go figure out the schedule for scuba diving. This is the thing that Josh and I were most excited about upon arriving to Koh Tao. So let's go check it out. Oh, this, is, this, is the, this is the mecca for scuba diving. Let's go. Are you guys gonna share? No. Hi. Oh, you're a good dog. You guys are to dive or? Yes, yeah. please. Yes. She wants to get her advanced open water. She's okay. open water certified right now. Fantastic. When was the last time you got it? 2015. Yeah. Okay. So it's been a while. Oh, and, and for you? It's been a couple of years, so I probably could have used the same. I think I'd a refresher. Excellent. So I'll put you both on a refresher in the pool yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. Good to be back. I love this place. Don't lose your flops. stuff she said. I was outside. I don't know what she said, but we're doing we're doing all of it. Look at look at this kitty. Look at this little kitty. Don't feel like picking up. Okay. I can tell her bring it back. Like she got some. Hi kitty. What do you gotta tell us? So many things to say. <laughs> <laughs> 